and Wreck TV. Fuck is up, y'all. Get the fuck up. Get the fuck up, motherfucker. So you can listen to me right now, nigga. All you motherfuckers on Instagram. All the dialogue. What's up, nigga? I see you niggas be taping my shit. Getting them monetizing views, nigga. Let's get to some business. This bitch. You know, I got the real story. I was there with Tupac. We smoked in the limo. He told me the story about Haitian Jack, how they used to buy jewelry, and Haitian Jack would try to buy him Rolexes and chains and shit. And, you know, he said he was enthused by the shit and all that. And then he told me about the bitch Ayana. We never knew what the bitch looked like. Now we know what the bitch looked like. Do we know what the bitch looked like now? She was like, I fucked some of them. Oops. She was fucking up in the interview. She was letting you know that she knew the nigga. She sucked Nigel's dick. She knew Nigel. He was a boss in the motherfucking neighborhood. So he had the bitch, you know. He knew shit was probably getting scarce between him and Tupac. And that's when she came in and sucked his dick on the dance floor. See, that blow a nigga brain. A bitch come in here and just suck a nigga dick on the motherfucking dance floor? Oh, yeah, we getting this bitch back to the reason. You know, hopefully I don't meet another bitch while I'm in the process of interviewing this bitch. But them niggas already interviewed the bitch. You know what I'm saying? So she lying like a motherfucker. Now people know who she is. The bitch might get beat the fuck up. You never know. It looked like she was married or something. Shout out to the nigga that married that hoe. You know what I mean? Now you got to look and see she got fucked by a hundred niggas. You know, more than that. I look at it like this. The bitch come out 20-something years later. She want fame and some. You know, I heard the bitch is writing a book. You know what I mean? She's going to make up a bunch of shit. But like I said before, shout out to my nigga Tupac Shakur. Tupac Amor Shakur. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that nigga. Because he gave us insight on what was going down before he died. So his interviews and conversations contradict that bitch. You know what I'm saying? So whatever Pac said, contradicting that bitch. Because that bitch lies. She's flexing. Look at her body language. You know what I'm saying? And the simple fact is, bitch, did Vlad give you some money for the interview? You know what I mean? Shout out to Vlad for getting all these motherfucking artists and shit to give him free interviews and videos for him to get paid on. Vlad Rich is a motherfucker. He monetizing like a motherfucker. I got to get paid for me to be on there because my story, you got other motherfuckers listening, they writing down, and you know, they trying to get any little information there is on anything they got to do with Death Row, Tupac, Dog Pound, Snoop, all that shit, because I have a documentary coming out with real footage, 30 years worth of footage I got. I got like about five or 600, 600 tapes, DVs, high eight, all kind of shit. Shout out to my nigga Saz, Teddy Knox. We cutting that shit up as we speak. You know what I'm saying? He let me see a little clips last night. I was like, man, just tell me what's on the tapes. Nothing incriminating, is it? I'm going vacuum seal on y'all right now. When my homeboys hear me smoking, they like, that nigga going all vacuum. Let me let you know what the vacuum sound sound like. You got to get your lungs together. You got to breathe. You know, sometimes you might smoke, and the smoke be like, huh? And that's why you be choking. <laughs> I'm waking up in the morning, so your lungs have to expand in the morning. You ready? I'll let you know, I get a little in you, but here it comes. have expanded. Now it's on. Now, I hate when niggas roll a blunt <coughs> and have a half 
half ounce of weed be in your mouth after you? Man, well, how did you roll this shit? Is it all sand? And roll me some shit with some buds in it. You know what I mean? I don't want to hit the bud and have damn near 10 grams in my mouth and I'm spitting it out. You know what I'm saying? But that's how I feel about that. My homegirl, Miss Shanika. Shout out to Miss Shanika from Hot 107.9. Hit me yesterday. Want to get my insight on the bitch, Ayana. You know what I mean? Because everybody is shooken up mad about this shit. You know what I'm saying? She can come out now and give any kind of story because who's there to contest it? Hey, she Jack and them can't contest the bitch because he over there. Now, if he come out and test the bitch, but he probably guilty as fuck. You know what I mean? Me personally, it's crap, niggas. I ain't trusting with nobody, you know what I mean? All that type of shit. I don't fuck with this. I don't fuck with that. Fuck with yourself. I fuck with, with a certain type of people. I fuck with a certain type of people. But I don't fuck with you. Corrupt was hanging with you. But I'm not hanging with you. You hear me? What do y'all got to say about the bitch Ayana? She looks scandalous. Anybody see that bitch? You call her a bitch. You know what I mean? She's the number one hoe in New York City. Everybody know what Tupac said. You know what I'm saying? I'm only going off what the big homie told me. You know what I'm saying? This bitch. She just... But she ain't gonna get no more money out of it. She didn't tell the story. I mean, what's she gonna do? Make her own movie up? Is she gonna make her own movie up now? You know, I've been trying to get my movie off the ground, but it being a lot of, lot of player hating shit going on. Motherfuckers are stealing your ideas. And, you know, everybody that made that all eyes on me, I ain't heard from them niggas since, nigga. They was like, yeah, we gonna help you. You can help us do our shit. We just LT all y'all, man. What happened? Y'all played us. Took the money. I ain't heard from you niggas or nothing. Y'all went over there to Koch and E1. And now y'all coming out with this death row documentary bullshit. I'm waiting to see this shit too. Because I'm waiting to see this shit too. You know what I'm saying? Y'all pissed me off so bad I'm finna roll me another blunt. I'm gonna roll me another blunt. You bet you. That's all the little weed I got till I go back in the back and get the sneeze ash. My weed sat this big. And you can't even look at it on the camera. You did. Shout out to my nigga Brody. Brody Brown from 1500. This nigga got more motherfucking Grammys. And I'm proud of this little young nigga because it's our little homie. You know what I'm saying? And I'm proud of everybody from the West Coast. Proud of everybody from the down South. I'm proud of everybody from the East Coast that I fuck with. This is worldwide rap shit. You know what I'm saying? And we got to keep it like that. We got the independence now. Back then it was the record company. But now we as artists have the full independence of running our own shit. You know what I'm saying? And you can become that too. If you believe in yourself. And holla at Dash for them Thou Wild verses. Put you and whoever you with in the game. I'm not a selfish, stingy motherfucker. I like that. Maybe my car might break down. I might have a flat tire somewhere. And I get on Instagram and I hit you, nigga. What's up? Y'all gonna come fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? That's the part of building a family relationship. Not just a hookup. You do the hookup. No, nigga. This is family business, nigga. We family. You know, I call you, you call me, nigga. You know, hey, it's all to the good, nigga. All that smoke come out that bitch. Shout out to Pimpin' from Franchise Boys, you know what I'm saying? Nigga got beats. Shout out to Jermaine Dupree. Hit me the other day, you know what I'm saying? I will be through there. Me and Gip. We working on his ATLA album. Shout out to Jason, Big Blue, Family Tree. You hear me? And man, if y'all niggas want shows, holla at us. You know what I'm saying? Me and Gip. You know what I'm saying? Me and Gip, we hitting the road. Switch things.
to the opposite way It's the map that the strippers and the groupies pay Yeah, bands make her dance, you can't juice this J We bout to terrorize the rap game Fuck it right and give it back pain uh-huh. Ever since a kid, it stayed focused, barely hung out uh-huh. Pops went to jail, mom, dukes got strung out Like Jordan with the tongue out, determined to win And got the best product out, and you killing the strip I taught the money gymnastics, I'm making it flip Hit the block hard, yes, early morning on the wake up Baby Crocker cook skills, help me get my cake up Cause she's coming up the right, it feels like the first okay. The money is a gift, but the bills is a curse I'm a overachiever, not a superstition believer I'm good everywhere, like credit from a visa The rotten apple, you could get shot in your Adam's apple Giving God praise, leaving out the tabernacle Let me squeeze trigger 45 I feel like Kevin Carl, slim bodyguard Holding down with me, that paperwork got his name on it The snitch niggas in here Oh yeah, subscribe to MREC TV YouTube.com Slash MREC TV I'm gone M Rec TV. It's got a music. It's got a music.